To episode 50, 50. Wow. Hey. Oh, loads of Epi- things. Yeah, we've, we've done loads of these, and somehow yeah. we're still going. Um, yeah, should we try? Yeah, yeah. words. The, the, we're uh, so smooth. Of the um, yeah, whatever we do, Mister Courgette and Mister DBSB, Chili and Zombie, zombie experience. experience. God, we've just nailed it, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, that was smooth. I think every time for fifty episodes, we've just yeah. nailed that. Yeah. 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 yeah, job well done. Yes, well done. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're still here. You're still there. there. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to review a film that has some zombies in it and have some chili. Oh uh, yes. Yeah. So mm. well, what should we talk about first? Um, should we talk about the film? Yes, yes. Let's talk about the film first. Okay. So this is the one we wanted to see for a while and we missed out on at the cinema, but is now available on Blu-ray. So we have a copy of Jim Jaramusch's The Dead Don't Die. So, big well, budget. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say, yeah, yeah. don't get Jaramusch mix, mixed up with Jodorowsky. Because that's always in my head. I, I, I kind of do want to see the zombie version of El Topo. <laughs> but anyway... I think you, I mean, you're on your own. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. So a uh, big budget, as <laughs> zombie films go, because we've had quite a few low budget. Ones, yes, we? we we've been we've yeah. been budgeting yeah. yes. carefully. Yeah, to allow us the um, yes, Tilda Swinton, Adam Driver, Iggy Pop, Bill Murray, Chloe Svengi, insert all the actors and actresses in the world here, here, here. Um, yeah, so we're going to watch The Dead Don't Die because, yeah, we really want to watch this. Yeah, I I, I, I really enjoyed the adverts for it. Um, yeah, it looked pretty good. Bill Murray. I mean, who doesn't love Bill Murray? Adam Driver. Does Adam Driver not love Bill Murray? Oh, uh, well, no. Controversial. That's why he's a Sith Lord. Oh! <laughs> Is he a Sith Lord that doesn't quite play by the rules? Yes. yes. He's a Jedi. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Um, moving swiftly on before we fall down that rabbit hole yeah. shall we talk about some chilli yes so um, this is uh, a blood orange cranberry marmalade with bourbon whiskey and habanero and this comes from uh, Russell in uh, Grim Reaper Foods um, who uh he was taking this out to lots of the fairs that he does. Yeah. He was trying to get it onto his website, but was having issues. So hopefully, now that the the kind of crazy season for for food fairs is dying down a bit mm. because it's not Christmas, it will be on the the website. Well, have and, a look, uh, and we'll put a link up. Yes, yes, yeah. definitely. But it's well worth checking out Grim Reaper Foods because uh, Russell has very kindly given you. Our viewers, you, mm. a just special you. voucher where you just have to sign in to to the Grim Reaper Foods and you put in the voucher Bedsit Ten Bedsit all in capitals and you'll get ten percent off your order. Happy days! And there's all sorts of stuff, lots of different companies, not just uh, um, Grim Reaper Foods, uh, yeah. although. Grim Reaper Foods, they are a high quality. I recommend their oils. Oh, yeah, oils yeah. are good. And oils. their sauces, very good, very good stuff from yeah. Russell there. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna try this, and uh, I think we're gonna try it on some some toasted bread. Mm-hmm. And you know what? The cooking montage was so popular yet last Ooh, week. Was it? Yes. Yeah. That um, I believe we are going to do a cooking montage for toast. <sighs> Happy day. <laughs> We 
have some wonderful <coughs> triangles of bread. Uh, so, let's. Uh, the, the, the yeah. bread's not the important. No, no, no. The important thing is the, the important yeah. thing mm. is this. Oh, that that it's smells a bit. It's a bit cheeky. Right, it's got that. You can smell the marmalade, and then this little bing of chili in there. Almost barbecuey. Now, I'm going to be honest, my sense of smell is not what it once was, so right now I'm just getting a lot of sweet. Yeah. It smells good. <laughs> so, um, do you want to be mother? Yeah, which bit do you want? I'll, I'll, I'll let you decide. Do you want a triangle bit or a long bit? A long bit, I think. A long bit. Yeah. Long bit, I was thinking, right. Yeah, it makes Can sense. Can you hold yeah. that? Ooh. Well, I can see chili seeds in it. Cool. So the last time I probably had chili marmalade, marmalade was um, from Gimpy. Oh right, yeah. So that's so regular viewers and regular viewers of DBSB's channel in general will remember Gimpy. Ah, oh, the legendary Gimpy. Uh, R.I.P. Gimpy. Yeah. something there oh that'd be a cranberry ah you sound very excited by the thought of a cranberry uh well zombie zombie a, zombie a. E, e. well i think you should have that bit then considering you're so excited about it okay cool drop it down the, there put the lid on there yeah okay ready yeah See if we can get a bit of a whiff and see if it's changed. Now it's no. opened it up. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of the chilli now. All right. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Mmm. 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 Oh, yeah. Really, really sweet, but when the sweetness then hits, this like, build starts to come in. It's a lovely slow build of chilli. It's not like massively hot, but it's just this lovely slow mm. undercurrent. Mm. A, a very much the tip of the tongue mm. kind of chilli heat. Really good. Mm. That's really nice. Mm. Yeah. Definitely, I think that'd be a I think you could use that as a glaze kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Or you could just put it on toast. Mm. I think that's probably what's going to happen to it. I reckon a good glaze for halloumi. Oh, yes. You're going to bake some halloumi or something with a bit of um, a glaze. That'd be really nice. Yeah. Mm. I do like to glaze halloumi. <laughs> do you want some more? Um, you know what? I think while we're watching the film, oh yes, I think we should. Snackage. Yeah, yeah, bit of snackage. Happy days because that was that's very tasty. Yeah, very tasty. That's a big thumbs up from yeah, me. Big thumbs up. Yeah, um, yeah. Visit Grim Reaper Foods website. Yeah, join their website. Bedsit ten, you get ten percent off. Get yourself some marmalade. Makes of a Paddington Star Hardcore Sandwich Boom. Oh yes. Happy days. Part right. Set. Back after the film. Cool. That was The Dead Don't Die. Yes. That's Brilliant. a Yeah. That is a double thumbs up. Very good. Uh, yeah. It's like quite a nice modern yeah. take. On the zombie film, yeah, um, it has everything you want in a zombie film. It has very, very good zombies. Yeah, it has very good zombie deaths. It has humour. Yes, it has. Is there any way out of this feeling? Yep. Um, yeah. 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 I mean, it's, oh, it's cracking. Swords, guns, shears, shears. Um, 
Yeah, it was it was really really funny. Yeah, it was yeah, yeah very funny. Um, it's a it had its tongue firmly in its cheek. Oh yeah, 100%. but it was it was serious. It wasn't yeah. You know, sometimes you know you could say Austin Powers has its tongue firmly in its cheek about the type of film it's being. Okay, but it gets ridiculous and silly. Yes, whereas that was. Very intelligently, the tongue was firmly in its yeah. cheek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and and not just about zombie films, about films in general. Yeah, as well. It crammed a lot of influences in. Yes, yes. There was a lots of little nods and winks and yeah, uh, all over the place in there. Um, yeah. And to say it is um, star studded would be an understatement. Yeah, they 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 got <laughs> so many people said, "Yeah, all right, yeah, I'll do that." Yeah, yeah. It's I think one of my favourite little star bits was uh, the uh, UPS man. Oh, oh. yes, Whoop yes. <laughs> Uh, that was awesome. which was yeah. driven by R- Razor. Yeah, that no, that was cracking. That was that was that. like oh, oh, it's a UPS, a whoopie. Oh, right, I know who's going to be driving that. Now, that was definitely an awesome bit. Um, but yeah, just love the like the the real small town mentality, and uh, you know, everyone knows everyone. Yeah. Um, and very much played on that, which is fantastic. But um, and, and Adam Driver and and uh, Bill, Murray. Bill Murray, their their oh. their their relationship between each other, fan, really nicely played. Yeah, with each other, um, with neither one. I I can imagine. Yeah, you know, I don't know Bill Murray weirdly, uh, but what well, even with all your Hollywood experience, even with all my Hollywood experience, I don't know Bill Murray. And I imagine it'd probably be quite difficult to do scenes with him because he's such a strong performer. But you'd always be like aspiring to try and be yeah, at that level. And try and so you'd end up with this one upping each other. But they they work so beautifully together. Yeah. I mean, look, everyone. I mean, uh, the um, the little interactions between Tilda Swinton and uh, and Chloe Spengi would in the police station are just fantastic. Yeah. Um, but it's also a bit of a political commentary on the current state of the climate. And um, yeah, yeah. The climate, consumerism, yeah. capitalism. Yeah. It crams a lot into its one hour and 45 minutes. It does. And, and, it, and it's one of those films, it doesn't necessarily tie all its ends up. But that's... Yeah. A, a good thing you know it leaves it that you can have those stories running on for your imagination but that's similar for a lot of his films you know yeah. he, he likes to leave things unsaid yeah. uh, which is cool you know because it does it gives you things to think about afterwards which is yeah I mean look, I I think that is brilliant and would happily watch it again and happily recommend it to people yeah yeah, yeah. Definitely. not even just to people who are fans of zombie films I would happily recommend that as just a good yeah. film to go oh. watch there was a bit of it that I was... Oh, what was the film where Werner Herzog is the the uh, the main alien? Oh, was that in Iron Sky? No. No, no. Uh, it was the, uh, the one where it's the town where there's... Uh, might be werewolves and vampires and zombies and in the end a, a freak big nature y- yeah yeah okay. and Werner Herzog is there as the main alien at the end okay yeah oh, there, there's so much oh yeah yeah and there's, there's bits of that reminded me of that I I heartily recommend that I'm gonna have to go and look at the, the trivia the, and the yeah. reviews of mm. of that film because Uh, yeah, it, it, it was a really nice, well done film. I think I'm glad I saw it on. I think it worked on video. Yeah. Uh, or 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 on home TV screen. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, there's some films which definitely need to be yeah the, the on cinema the cinema. Or but yeah. I think it, perhaps with more, there's so many more films which are now digital. Yeah, and they have that digital look which works on TV mm. or thing. But oh yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah. But some very well made up zombies on this. I think like the zombie makeup was spot on. Um, yeah, the way the zombies died as well was really cool. Yeah, um, not not necessarily the way they were killed, which was also cool, but the actual the way the zombies themselves died yeah. was very cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, just so many little details, but no, just just watch it, watch it is well worth it. I'd say that's oh, that is very suitable for the fiftieth episode. I think that's one of the best ones we've watched since we've been doing this. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be. The one that was in Paris for me, that was one of my favourite ones. Really? Yeah, yeah, I think that is like possibly. I've been thinking about what is my favourite uh, out of all the ones we've seen, and I think it's it's going to be the 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 wreck wedding. Okay. Or the uh, the Paris one, but I think the Paris one just pops above there. You see, for me. I mean, like, The Dead Don't Die is going to be up there somewhere, but Juan of the Dead, the yeah, the Cuban one, which was really good. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Zombievers. Yeah, I really right. enjoyed Zombievers. Um, I mean, there's been, there's been, I mean, there's been loads that have been really, really sort of. Mm, um, Dead Snow Two. I think that was really good. Yeah, yeah although I kind of like Dead Snow One. See. There's so many good zombie films out there. Yeah, you know, and yeah. Uh, and we're we're only partially the way through oh, all of them. We haven't even scratched the surface. No, no. There's so many more chili sauces. There's so many more zombie films. So there's uh, so much more of us talking bollocks. So yeah, yeah. Stick around for yeah. 100. There will be a special giveaway when we get to show 100. Will it be a T-shirt with your face on it? Maybe. Awesome.